President Trump blasting California Governor Gavin Newsom after repeatedly warning the California governor to get his act together. Watch. You got fires eating away at California every year because management is so bad. The governor doesn't know. He's like a child. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I've been telling him this for two years. They've got to take care of it. Every year, it's always California. Never, it's rarely somebody else or someplace else. My next guest, he's a Republican representative from California. He's Tom McClintock. Great to see you, sir. Thank you for having me. The president is getting a lot of criticism for threatening to cut off federal funds to fight those fires. What do you say? Well, I'm not sure he's going to cut off funds. I think that's uh, Trumpy and uh, uh, bombast. But the, the fact of the matter is he's right on the fundamentals. Uh, years of bad forest management at both the state and federal levels uh, has produced this problem. Uh, you know, you go back to before the 20th century, California used to lose between 4 and 12 million acres a year to catastrophic wildfire. We introduced active forest management and active lands management. We would suppress brush growth through grazing and uh, use of herbicides. We would carry out excess uh, timber before it could choke off the forests and burn. Uh, and we had, we brought that figure down to only a quarter million acres of fire loss every year in this state. Uh, uh, but in the late 20th century, we began imposing environmental laws at both the state and federal levels. This made active forest management all but impossible, and now we're seeing up to 2 million acres lost to catastrophic fire. That's not a new normal. That is the old normal reasserting itself. That's how nature manages the land. Okay, so California has taken billions of dollars from the federal government, not spending money on burying power lines at places like PG&E, it's sort of like you should think of public safety first and then do renewables, right? Is that kind well, of sense? Exactly. Uh, the, 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 the utilities, PG&E, for example, has been required by the California Public Utilities Commission uh, to spend about two and a half billion dollars a year on green energy schemes. Uh, they only spend a billion and a half on actual maintenance. If that two and a half billion dollars being used by the environmental left was instead allowed to be used for, for uh, fireproofing their transmission lines, we would not be having this problem today. And this is yep. not climate change, it's bad management. If Gavin Newsom thinks that by riding your bicycle to work and switching from hamburgers to tofu, uh, these problems are going to suddenly go away, he's completely delusional. You know, the governor has, uh, Gavin Newsom has blamed dog eat dog capitalism for the fires. Uh, former Governor Jerry Brown says Trump and the Republicans have blood on their soul for failing to do enough to stop climate change. But even Democrat critics in California, sir, are upset that Gavin Newsom had no contingency plan, no contingency plan for the foreseeable possibility that PG&E would have to do rolling blackouts as they are doing, and they're saying they're going to do it for the next 10 years. No, well, Gavin Newsom's policy is you just blame climate change and move on, and, and, and that's simply ignoring the problem. Um, uh, the, 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 the fact of the matter is, if we were properly, the, the, PG&E, by the way, is not some sort of independent company. They are heavily, heavily regulated by the California Public Utilities Commission, which is made up entirely of gubernatorial appointments of, of Jerry Brown's and now of Gavin Newsom's. Uh, so all of the PG&E policies are a direct result of government regulation from the left. And uh, the president is absolutely right. This is the only state in the country that is having these problems. It's not the only yeah. state in the country whose federal lands are badly managed. But yeah. you overlay okay. bad federal management with bad state management and then bad uh, uh, state regulations, you end up with what California is facing today. And, and that's, that's our power goes out every time there's a windy day. And we're paying twice, for, when we do get it, we're paying twice for our electricity okay. what ratepayers are paying in other states. Yeah. And PG&E and other utilities officials there donating a lot of money to Democrats. Great to see you, Congressman. Come back Great soon.